I'm really grateful that I am invited by you all to be here. And I would like to very simply say that you and I are the beloved daughters and sons of God. And that's very hard to claim. Because very quickly we think that we are what we do. That we are what other people say about us. That we are what we have. But the real truth that Jesus announced us is that we are like Jesus himself, the beloved child of God. And it's very, very important that in the midst of this world that keeps telling us, no, 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 you are what you do, you are what people say about you, you are what you have, that we listen to that voice that keeps telling us, you are my beloved, on you my favor rests. And this morning I would like to talk a little bit about how we can become more fully the beloved, if that's true. And the story that you just heard was a story about bread. Jesus took bread and he blessed it. And he broke it. And he gave it. And you know, Jesus did exactly the same at the Last Supper. He took bread. He blessed it. He broke it. And he gave it. And when Jesus entered the house of those two disciples in Emmaus, he took bread. He blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it, and they recognized him. And that is what we continue to do through history. We take bread, we bless it, we break it, and we give it. And what I would like you to hear today is that these four words summarize the life of Jesus. Jesus is the one who is taken by God, who is blessed by God, who is broken on the cross and given to the world. And these same four words are the words that summarizes your life as the beloved. Like they summarize Jesus' life as the beloved. Because you your spiritual life, your life as the beloved daughters and sons of God is a life that is taken, that is blessed, that is broken and given. And I would like very much you from today um, remember just these four words. If you could just go home and say, I am taken. I am blessed. I am broken. And I am given. These four words are the words I want to give you this morning so that you can claim what it means that you are the beloved son and daughter of God. Because if you can live your life as the taken, the blessed, the broken, and the given, the world will recognize Jesus in you. In the breaking of the bread, in the breaking of your life. You are taken. 
You know, do you believe that God has taken you? Maybe we have a little better word for that. God has chosen you. Think about that for a moment. That you are chosen by God. That means God has seen you from all eternity as precious in his eyes, as unique. There is no other than you that is like you. There is no other person that is exactly like you. You are unique. And you have a unique role to play in God's story. And most people don't believe that at all. Most people don't even think they are welcome in the world. But God is saying to you and to me, I've seen you from all eternity in your uniqueness. You are my chosen one. You're special in my eyes. And what I hope that you will realize is, and this is a surprise, that if you believe that you're chosen, it doesn't mean that others are not chosen. See, in our world, when they say you're chosen, you're the best in your class, too bad for the rest. If you say you're chosen for an award, then the other didn't get the award. If you're chosen to be the president of a company or a class, then the others didn't make it. But in God's way, that's not at all true. In fact, if you believe that you are chosen, God gives you eyes to see the chosenness of others. You'll suddenly discover that your chosenness, your uniqueness, opens up in your heart a place where you can suddenly realize, hey brother, hey sister, you too are unique in God's eyes and that didn't take anything away from my uniqueness. That's the great news. Very hard to claim in a world of statistics and a world in which you often think that you're just a number. But hold on to it, because it's the first shi shi sign of your belovedness. And the second is you're blessed. You know the word benediction? You know the blessing, benediction? That word comes from bene, which means good things, of good, and dictions means saying things. Benediction means saying good things. You're blessed, that means God is saying good things to you.